Welcome, and thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on praying through stressful situations. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now, as you are, and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Father, help me to leave my troubles to one side as I come to seek your face and your heart in your word. Bless me with peace tonight, I pray. Nehemiah chapter 1 verses 4 to 6 says, When I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying before you day and night. What role does prayer play when you face stressful situations? How do you balance the tension between crying out to God and taking action. Nehemiah was distraught to hear about the state of his home, Jerusalem, God's holy city. He decided he must admit his distress to the king and ask for permission to go and help rebuild Jerusalem. But sadness in the king's presence was seen as bad luck and therefore forbidden, so this could land him in serious trouble. Nehemiah couldn't do anything to secure the king's favour. He was powerless to help his fellow Israelites. He had no way of changing his circumstances. So before he took action, he spent many days fasting and praying, seeking God's leading and entrusting these things to the one who does have real power. Even after all that prayer, Nehemiah was still fearful as he approached the king. Yet, As he opened his mouth, he knew the situation and the outcome belonged to the Lord. It was action bathed in prayer. Are some of tomorrow's decisions and tasks weighing heavily on you? Come and surround those things in prayerful dependence on the Lord tonight.
As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in and out. and in and out and in and out Let's pray Dear Lord Forgive me for sometimes taking action without prayer, when I am led by my fears and desires. Help me to prioritise prayer before action, so I can rejoice in your answers and your help. Lord God, all outcomes belong to you. I can't hope to anticipate everything tomorrow will hold, so I simply set my eyes on you tonight and put tomorrow in your hands. Nehemiah chapter 2 verses 2 to 5 says I was very much afraid but I said to the king may the king live forever why should my face not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire The king said to me, What is it you want? Then I prayed to the God of heaven, and I answered the king. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, I know what it is to feel fear, to be afraid of people and problems. But I belong to the one who is greater than any other. May this joyful truth fuel my prayers and give me great confidence. For I never need to take any action alone. I do everything with and for the one who sits on the throne of love. Amen.